Hey everyone, Evie Potato here, and we're here for an album review for Connecticut Casual Volume 2 by Rapper Apathy. Hey, hold on a second there. Something different's happening. No, everything's fine. I've got the yellow flannel on. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Everything's totally the same as it usually is right now at this moment? This is the same thing. Same person. Okay, I'll trust ya. Because I'm a trusting person. Anyway, coming from Connecticut rapper Apathy, Connecticut Casual Volume 2 is a 10-year follow-up sequel that is both reflective and celebratory. A fantastic representation of everything that East Coast hip-hop has to offer, including a lot of blends of fusions of different genres and styles. The album seamlessly jumps from jazz to rap rock in a way that really showcases a certain kind of mastery after such a long career. The album starts off with Connecticut formal, lamenting on Apathy's home state in a way that I found both endearing and loving, but also slightly tongue-in-cheek. With Lyrics throughout the song that boasts about Connecticut culture, but also admitting to never having old money and feeling a little bit outside of that. The jazz sample that loops throughout the song is so sweet and proud that it really sets off the essence of the album in a great way. This theme continues on songs like Fenwick, which features Kappa Gamma. Hometown pride and representation is such a strong theme in hip hop, and on songs like these, Apathy is really doing a great job at repping that flag. And on Fenwick, representing that on a much moodier, jazzier sample. On much darker beats, songs like Fenwick. Court Kids and Vacation, Apathy dives a little deeper into introspective in the psych of his mind. For example, on the song Vacation, he's talking about wishing to take a break from his own mind because it's riddled with self-doubt, anger, resentment, which I think is something that a lot of people can relate to. I personally would love to take a break from my own mind. Later into the album, we get to a song called Jackie O, which is of course named after the former first lady. It's a really interesting song with a narrative that I found to be really fascinating. The song tells a story of Apathy having a lot of dreams about Jackie O and wishing that he could be with her. To me, the song has two messages. On one hand, I think it's about wishing to be with someone that will stay loyal to and the way that Jackie O was. But again, on this song, we circle back to another common theme where he talks a lot about the exuberant wealth that she experienced throughout her life. And in this really unique metaphor of Jackie O, expresses how lonely and empty exuberant wealth can be. With a slight lull towards the middle of the album, volume two has a really strong finish, with Kingdom of the Corner being a really fun and boastful mix of rap and rock, with Apathy just fully declaring himself the king of Connecticut with how resilient he's been throughout his whole career. Tick Tock Tick ends with some more smooth jazz that's a little more stripped back, but also just leaves me wanting more. In my opinion, based on this album, he is the king of Connecticut, which is why I'm feeling a decent eight. Tran. Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Apathy of Forever.